in a moment. I do want to come back home to Nigeria. If I Udeze, a former Nigerian international, claims the players on the current Super Eagles have a losing mentality after an embarrassing 4-0 loss to Portugal in a recent international friendly in Lisbon, the Eagles' losing streak has continued. The team's most recent victory came in a 10-0 rout of So Tome and Principe in the 2023 AFCON qualifiers in June. The team hasn't won in five straight games and Udeze has criticized the Eagles players for not taking their game seriously. He charged that the Eagles were playing with a losing attitude and without a sense of urgency. He added that the players don't play as a team, but rather as individuals. So obviously we can, there's a laundry list of uh, complaints we have about the Super Eagles, probably from the moment that uh, the Super Eagles were established as the national team for the country. Um, we've talked in the past constantly about uh, need for the right kinds of uh, coaching setup, the need to pick players that are uh, fully engaged, fully invested in the, in the performances that they deliver and in the um, well-being, the outcome, uh, the consistency for the national side. Udeze seems to be making much of the same points. Mikel, I'm using two acronyms this morning, and it's called CC. One is for competition. The other one is for complacency. Mm. Those good old days, when we had a very serious Super Eagles, there was competition in the team. But what we have now is players who are complacent. Even if we play badly, we will still get invitation. Bruno Fernandes made a very apt statement after that 4 0 trouncing that we expected a stiff competition from Nigeria. More importantly, an African team, because we have Ghana in our group. But Nigeria did not offer anything like a competition. But when we get to the World Cup, we'll be playing better teams. That all the countries they approach, they were busy. Only Nigeria showed interest. But it will have even been better if we play 11 aside against ourselves than what we did against Nigeria. Because it was a cakewalk. Obviously, it was obviously. a soft walk. Obviously, what you're saying is that the Nigerian squad, as it stands right now, there isn't enough competition for spaces. These players are going to get called regardless of form, uh, regardless. I mean, obviously, most uh, national team coaches choose players based on form. But yes. when the form does not carry over to the national side, perhaps this is the time for even... A uh, manager, a foreign-based manager, a foreign manager uh, like Pissero, to start picking players that have spent none all their lives in Nigeria, and uh, ha the only way, the height of uh, their football uh, career will be representing the national, uh, uh, the national team. You, you just mentioned Jose Pissero to come and do what? The coach that you got based on sentiment rather than the pedigree. Mm. And I was saying something after that game against Portugal. People were abusing me on social media. But it's my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. Pesero has played six matches. Two against Syria Lone and Sao Tome and Principe. Then the remaining four, Ecuador, Mexico, Algeria, and Portugal. Mm. And he has lost four and won two. And I said it that that is not a good record. My mom... Who doesn't know anything about football? Who coached Nigeria to win Sao Tome and Principe and Syria alone? And you are getting $70,000 every month for this kind of performance? You saw against Algeria. You saw against Ecuador. You saw against Mexico. And that game against Portugal, tepid, abject, Our, poor, all right, show, show, I always have to play the devil's advocate from time to time. So, now let's consider this perhaps in the course of trying to build a team that for years and years um, hasn't really lived up to all of the expectations things need to change and when you bring in a new manager a new coach 
you're having to, he's having to do things completely different, set a new roadmap. And sometimes, especially with the national side that doesn't get to train week in, week out, uh, isn't as used to their fellow uh, players as club sides, perhaps it, it is taking this long. It is, it is resulting in these many losses and bad results because they haven't hit their stride yet. And that is still within reach for them. Mika, you know one thing I love about you? Hmm. You are highly intelligent. But this morning, I will not accept this, your devil's advocate. <laughs> the same thing we did for Genaro. Hmm. In university, there are some courses to study for five years. Engineering, environmental science, uh, law, uh, medicine in six years. You will graduate after those years, bearing any strike or anything. Raw built a house for close to five years, we were not able to even move into the house. It was still building, building. Mikael, mm. when we will finish building this house. <laughs> all right, all right. I understand. Um, we'll still have more to talk about the Super Eagles in coming days and weeks and years. Um, but let's...